session. Um, again, wanted to, to welcome you to uh, Agile India 2014. Thanks again for everyone uh, coming out today. Uh, a few things to share, uh, just about the conference in general, right? So about, about Agile India. Um, this is Age's largest uh, and premier international conference on Agile, Lean, and Patterns. It is the largest Agile conference. You cannot hear me in the back? All right. Can we get, how's that? Better? All right. Don't know if it was the volume or if it was the uh, din in the room, but, but uh, either way, better. All right. Um, so, of course, this couldn't happen uh, without our sponsors, and I wanted to, uh, to, to thank them. So, um, you know, HP, JP Morgan, Siemens, Rally, et cetera, um, you know, they've, uh, they've done a lot to make sure that this actually happens and, and, you know, help us to actually keep the cost where, you know, everyone can come in at a reasonable rate. So, um, thanks again to our sponsors. Um, and, of course, this really couldn't have happened without the uh, program team. Uh, members of the program team, would you mind standing up for me? If we can give these folks a round of applause, we've got a few along the side here as well. And of course our speakers, right? Um, we've got speakers from 12 different countries here throughout the entire conference. So I think that's, uh, I think that's pretty remarkable. And then of course, there's you folks, right? Um, we've got attendees from over 28 different countries. Uh, actually, if you look at the demographics of it, so 28 countries, uh, 320 different roles, uh, 205 different organizations, and 25% uh, female, uh, give or take, which when you look at our industry, I think is really good representation uh, in this audience. That's a, that's a pretty exciting thing to see. Um, you know, we're hoping that every year uh, that you know, equality gets better and better, right? So um, I wanted to do a little thing here. So just so that you know the math on it quick uh, as you're thinking about it in your head, um, the distance around the Earth at the equator is roughly 25,000 miles or 40,000 kilometers. So given that kind of frame of reference, um, I wanted folks to stand up if you are from further than five kilometers away from this location. That's where you came from. <laughs> All right. So stay standing if you're further than 20 kilometers. A hundred kilometers. Five hundred. A thousand. 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, <laughs> all right, so a little bit about today. Um, the conference overall, obviously a very uh, broad agenda, right? Um, we've had several days. Uh, hopefully, some of you have, have participated in, in uh, more than just today. Um, but you know, if not, I think personally that today is the most valuable day anyway. So uh, glad that you're here. Let's go over uh, what's going to happen today, right? So we've got actually a pretty full schedule. Um, so this morning, um, we've got a number of sessions. Uh, obviously, we had our keynote from, from Ash. Um, we've got sessions on database refactoring, lean UX, uh, agile development with JavaScript, agile transformation techniques, agile games, um, and we're going to have some presentations from some sponsors. So Rally and JP Morgan are actually going to talk today as well. Uh, and there are lightning talks uh, this morning, right near the end of the morning. Um, if you are interested in giving a lightning talk, show up um, at the location, I'd say about five minutes beforehand if you can. Uh, Promote will be there and will basically help to get us queued up. So it's kind of a first come, first serve. If you're interested in giving a lightning talk, show up, let us know, and uh, we'll get you into the, uh, into the queue for talks. Um, what room is that in, do you know? Esquire, yes, all right. Then, of course, we break for lunch, and then this afternoon, more sessions, polyglot programming, agile feedback for learning, user requirements gathering, uh, path to continuous delivery, projects and innovation, um, continuous refactoring, 
building creative teams, enterprise agile projects, uh, there, uh, automation, and of course some more presentations. Uh, ThoughtWorks will be speaking. There is a coding dojo this afternoon. Uh, if you are interested in attending the dojo, please bring a laptop. It is a coding dojo. Without the laptop, you're not going to get a lot done. And then finally into the evening, um, we've got some more presentations. Uh, CloudNet and PMI are going to actually be talking. Uh, and we've got sessions on uh, estimation, lean, agile testing, and of course our closing keynote uh, from Ryan Martin's Rally Software. And then stick around for dinner. There's some networking. Uh, and of course we have our agile art project um, that uh, is going to be uh, shown this evening. Um, today's sessions and all of the other sessions are being recorded. And we are going to make those available uh, on CD. Uh, you can purchase them on CD. Uh, visit the Agile India website. Uh, the URL is, is right here. Um, we may also be releasing some of these videos to YouTube or to other venues. But if you want to make sure that you've got the whole package, uh, that's where you want to get it. So um, I want to talk a little bit about the law of two feet. Uh, this is an important rule. Um, how many of you are familiar with this rule? All right, cool. So basically, law of two feet is really simple, right? Um, if you are in a session and you are finding that, that session is not of value to you or it just it isn't quite what you were looking for and there's some other session that you would like to go to or you think that there's benefit to just kind of hanging out and chatting with people in the hallway, feel free to use your two feet. Get up and head on out, right? The speakers know that that's happening. They know that's the rule. No one's going to be offended. Um, you know, don't walk in front of the, you know, right, right in front of the stage, whatever. But, but you know, feel free to use, you know, use your judgment and use that to make this the best conference possible for you, right? Um, there's several workshops related to the conference. Most of them have already happened, but there is, uh, there is one going on. Um, so you know, uh, check the website. You can actually get registered for this. Um, how many of you were able to participate at all in the pre-conference webinars that happened? There were several. All right, good, good. So there are a few people here that were able to. Um, fortunately, all of them were recorded, and all of them are available. Um, we had some excellent chats with some industry leaders. Um, if you are interested, uh, again, the URL is here. You can go to the website and find it as well. Um, but we had six different talks with some, with, some, with some great leaders, some folks that we'd hoped maybe could make it here, but for various reasons couldn't, um, but had the opportunity to still have a conversation with them. So please make sure you check those out. Um, there's also a book signing going on. Uh, books are available for sale here. If you brought, your own, brought some, some books, that's great. We've got several authors here, and they're willing to, you know, to actually make it a little more personal for you. And I want to let people know about the, uh, the job fair. Um, this is a pretty exciting thing, right? It's the first Agile job fair in the world. Um, and it's an opportunity you know, for you to actually go and, and, and meet potential employers. It's a little bit different than your standard job fair. A lot of job fairs are kind of uh, very formal interview. This is a lot more conversational one-on-one. -on -one. You, know, you should be learning about these organizations and what it is that they have to offer and what their culture is like so that you can make you know, a choice about what your next step might be. Uh, we mentioned the Agile Art Project that is ongoing. Uh, it's happening really right out here in the, in the, in the hallway. Uh, please contribute. Um, I know a lot of folks feel like, well, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm an artist. If you can hold a pen in your hand, you are an artist. Feel free to add your touch to what we're building. I already mentioned the conference videos. Um, there are a couple of conferences that are upcoming that I thought you guys might be interested in knowing about. So there's Functional Conf, which is April 14th through 16th. Um, and you can actually just go to functionalconf.com. It is the first functional conference, pro functional programming conference in India. Um, I think that's pretty exciting. And then uh, SE Conf, which is uh, the Selenium Conf, um, is actually happening here this year, uh, September 4th through 6th. Uh, URL is a little bit longer. Um, my recommendation is, right now there's not a lot of information out on the web on this conference. Just go to the, to the official Selenium site and uh, you'll see announcements there as it's, as it's coming up. I mentioned this earlier, um, but there have been questions about you know, the feedback forms and that. Um, we don't have forms in the rooms. Um, we, just, we don't do paper, paper feedback, but if you have suggestions to improve the conference, please find one of the organizers, talk to them. 
We do value your feedback, and we really do want to take it personally from you rather than reading it off a piece of paper. There's a lot more value for us if you actually, you know, you come up and you give us a little bit of feedback, we can ask clarifying questions, dig into it, understand better what it is that actually was, was the concern, right? And we can make better improvements that way. I got one more thing. So I'm assuming this is a fairly diverse audience in terms of, I'm sure that we have plenty of developers, BAs, QAs, you've probably got uh, project managers, program managers, right? So what I'd like you to do is take a couple of minutes and let's make a new friend. This is really simple. So before we get started, um, find someone near the New Year that you do not know. So if you came here with a buddy, don't do this exercise with them. It's kind of cheating. But someone in the, you know, within the eight people, nine people around you, I'm sure you have not met before, right? Um, introduce yourself. Tell them your name and where you live, where you, where you are from in the world or, you know, locally, right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to describe to each other your typical day. But here's the catch. I don't want you to use any words that are in your job title or your role, right? So if you are a software developer, you cannot say software and you cannot say developer. Right? If you are a project manager, you cannot say project and you cannot say manager. And then just try and guess each other's exact job title. Not the general title, but the exact job title. Right? So if you are a senior developer three, <laughs> see if we can actually get them to, to guess that exact title without you ever saying senior or developer or three. All right? So can we do this? 